Hello everybody. Um, I just came out of the uh, slow scrap chat at the lily pad and um, I wanted to show you how I create now uh, with the instruction for the slow scrap um, a layout. So um, where is now my instruction? Okay. Um, you can find the instruction here at the lily pad and at the forum. It's in the lily pad forum, scrapping pad, and then here is the slow scrap um, thread where you can find all the instructions. So we start here with um, um, with a solid paper background. Um, we are not allowed to any other. Um, papers and of course today my um, latest art crush 39 came out and um, I will go with that one and um, this is what I have in the pack with the papers and um, we have some maybe this one or that one um, maybe or more with the paper this is more silver grayish or this hmm okay I'm going with the whitest one here for now maybe we need to change that paper later let's see um, how we can uh, go through so two photos we, we, we need. Um, I try to a little bit um, um, use the this layout and try to show you how to reach this blending effect what um, uh, Krista is used in this um, or created uh, in this layout. Okay. Um, there are a, a few different ways how to create blending masks. You can use any mask if you want. You can use artsy bits or you can use any um, watercolor blenders I have in my painter's toolboxes, which I'm going to show you now. Where is this? set so here are a few previews of my um, blenders I have created for Photoshop and this is how they can look like um, we have here a Garden of Eden does have one or we have in the gratitude then we have here at the Christmas Chalky Christmas collection. The blend, these blender masks are um, ready to go. So they, um, there is only a brush file. So you use them how they are. Or um, Art Crush number twelve. Imagine. And I think uh, I'm searching for something more watercolor look like over here it's in the Higge collection Higge collection was let me think about last um, October so I need to search me now through my files as you can see you know in here we can go to 2020 collections and here is the Higge which was um, a collab with Choice Paul and we have here the blenders and I'm gonna open them by double clicking it so they are installed now in my Photoshop so we have another background and then we have uh, the instructions two photos um, I'm gonna use a photo here 
um, nature from the um, Pixabay. No original. And it should a little bit coordinate with the colors from the latest art crush and this is how they look like so very colorful so we need some coordinating colors now hmm well this is this is a favorite one well turquoise <laughs> like always and then um, maybe we use that one only flowers so we have some colorful flowers it can be that later I'm gonna change those um, photos okay so step two are the colors uh, the, the pictures the images photos now the masks so we have here the mask for blending I'm gonna show you now how to use those watercolor blenders um, 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 delete groups there are lots of so here they are those watercolor blenders and this is how they look like we go on watercolor blender 10 here this looks pretty nice we're gonna change the color to black and now we go and paint here and as you can see this oh it blends now to the paper I need a new layer so this is what I want so this is now the mask and this is what I want to recreate um, this nature photo mask Krista have created and we use here the blender tool and we have here some little splatters and we can add here here and there some that's too far away from the mask itself and hmm and here and there some splats so I think this is our mask now and um, that looks fine uh, I will use this photo copy paste and now we're gonna clip this mask and um, we go to the layer setting and say create clipping mask and as you can see totally blends now into the solid paper Okay, and the next, and then we shall use gesso paint um, transfers, paint brushes work, whatever we want to. Um, I know we have the Art Crush Artsy Bits and Pieces pack. Um, some gesso, maybe in the B pack. Well, let's do this. The other way I'm gonna copy or move those into the A folder so we have all in one okay um, here we go we have here all those gessos okay gonna move this and we use that one and maybe we blend that darken i like to darken now i'm going to make a clipping mask around it we go to the clipping mask itself and then we choose uh, a brush and we softly brush here the edges and make them more blend into 
our paper. No, so that is softer. And the same we do with the gesso on the left side on the bottom. Make a clipping mask and then we start to softly blend it into the paper. So now we have this texture on top and this is what Krista wanted to um, to use or to um, um, achieve with uh, those gesso. We add a little bit more and also here and here's a little face as you maybe already noticed. Okay. Um, of course, what you also can do is and always use um, artsy bits and create. Just um, use that one. Okay, we have here this artsy bit. Then we go into the papers. Mm. They are here and we are going to search for, oh, I don't have a gesso paper in this collection, mm -hmm. but we use this one with, um, the, with more texture and we clip that onto the artsy bit and I'm gonna uh, merge it together so we have this one as one element now. Also here clipping mask and then we go to the brushes and we blend it a little bit more. So we have now here um, always on top and on the bottom here some texture with gesso and paint. What we also can do we can move the layers a little bit and see what looks better. Of course we can blend that, multiply, or leave it how it is. And okay, so this is our, well, let's say background. Um, let's go back to the instructions, to the forum. Yeah, at least six or more elements. A lupulusa is one element and um, so here we go. I just have a little bit of a vision. Now, what we need to do, we need to add a second photo. And I want to have, I have this um, frames, this one. It's like a little bit stamped um, feeling it does have. Don't say. So we choose now here the um, don't want that magic wand tool. Click in the middle of the frame and then we use shift command V so it um, places the photo itself directly into the selected area here. That's fun. I like that. Okay. Um, so we have the second photo here. We have the clipping mask. Um, need, I need really take care that we follow the, the steps here. Um, so the six elements and what I have in the in the Art Crush 9 is such faces and they have flowers like that one or this one and I would like now to create um, maybe that one yes uh, so 
this is a little bit smaller place it here on top and now we decorate here this face with elements and um, perfect are here those flowers I have already um, create a preview of the collection with such a face and the flowers and I loved it and now we make it a little bit smaller everything and place it and we go to the styles because we want to have now a nice um, shadow effect styles over here and we're gonna use that one not this one Okay, and now we decorate here everything. So the black one, a little bit smaller. And over here. And of course we add some leaves as well. Okay. Um, for that uh, we can use maybe let me try that one and we place it you need to turn it a little bit around that um, that not that the leaves don't overlaps too much from the face Um, we place it a little bit. That was way too. Okay, this is it. Okay. So, and then we have these shapes here, as you can see. Maybe you wonder um, for what you can use them. And I'm gonna show you now. Maybe we use that one. And we can place it just underneath the face so we can um, create a kind of um, shape behind the face. And then, oh, I like to have this crown here. No, a little bit smaller, a little bit. Oh yeah, it doesn't need to be that big. Maybe I think I want to make this. No. Nah. Okay. Hmm. Or this way, or this way, and let's put this background. We're gonna close all that everything we move. So okay, much better. So, okay, I am not happy with this purple um, color of her face. Maybe another color is better, more this orange. And we have more this face shape, better. Let's put on some clothes. Okay. Make it smaller. We still have a f enough uh, flowers to add here. It's like 
kind of flower girl um, that's too pink here so we add it here a little bit smaller it's always good if you see the center of the flower still so the rest you can um, overlay with the next layer but if you see the center of the flower it will um, look pretty good and um, maybe this yellow one over here for that we need a little bit this crown bigger and the flower a little bit smaller and this is how we can decorate it's a little bit different to that what um, Krista created but um, the effect what I wanted to show you in the background with the with the mask is um, um, that's what I wanted to show you I think we are already over the six elements here oops okay I'll place it on top okay um, so when I'm concentrating <laughs> I stop I stop to talk so, okay so we have now here a little bit of a connection with this um, element of the face and the photo on top and um, we can add a little bit more um, just underneath okay um where is this so this is it okay so um it's a little bit it's like graffiti well, I like really this photo. What we off, or we can, uh, we need to use this. We need to use a photo. We can't use a paper. Hmm. Some glitter stars here. Some golden. And. And then I have some other colors here, of course, some turquoise ones. And this is how nicely they blend here with the background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A word out, love this, what shall we good life true story okay at home daily routine happy moments happy together step by step I was such a new kids on the block fan and they from <laughs> really I remembered uh, on this step by step song that's why I added this this word art. Um, I recently watched uh, this farmhouse fixer with uh, one of those guys and they showed a lot of old um, videos from New Kids on the Block. <laughs> I felt like 16. I was crazy about them. How does it look when we blend it? Okay. That's cool. With this bit effect. 
always try to to go through all those blending options in your Photoshop or also in Photoshop elements um, because with it you can always reach another um, Um, another, another, another feel. I think this will not count as a word art. So we have those snippets. We never. Okay, here we go. We go here into to the snippets and let's see what we can pick out of here. Creative, maybe creative. I think this page is creative. Make it smaller and we add a little bit of a shadow. This one, yes. Favorite spot. Creative every day. That's it. Sounds good. Okay. So we overlap that. And I'm not happy with this orange. <laughs> What do you think? Uh huh. Let's darker color is gives a, a nice if oh, oh this is pretty nice. Look at that. And this is what you can do or what you can reach when you play with your layer settings. This is nice. Uh, Go back to the. Oh, I have the flares. They are also nice. Um, what we can add here? More pink or something with red. I don't have much red. So we use that one. And over here. And this should work like a little bit of. like a button. Nevertheless, we need a word art. I'm afraid that Krista isn't taking it if we use not a proper word art. So, life looks like this. On the other side, um, creative. Okay, let's. I like that one. What I now would like to have this black swirl, Lupi Lalusa, should be. No, where is it? Where is it? Step by artsy bit. No. Artsy bit eleven. <laughs> Sketch. Okay. I just want to cut it out. This is what I want because I just used this um, from this word art, this uh, layer. Um, setting darker color it always will um, look through and be not transparent that's why I wanted to cut it out now um, what happens now when I add here a little bit of a shadow no it doesn't look that good with the shadow oh okay so here we are Hmm, what else can we add? Maybe some stitching. We have some pretty nice stitches here. Place it over here. Just that we have a stitch. Um, I need to go back. Um, date and two to three lines of journaling can can be word art or word strips. And we can on word art alpha for title. 
oh, date and two to three lines. Um, I just hear the kitty outside um, screaming. I didn't want to let her in because she always runs over my keyboard and I can't work with her um, on my um, computer. Okay. Um, when I use a quote, is this also journaling? I don't know. Oh no, now she's scratching at the door. Can you hear her? <laughs> um, I have some recently... Who said that? In which collection? I don't know. Okay, nevertheless, we go back. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Where is the art crush? And we use the planner bits. We have the planner bits here. Okay, so they are pretty cool if you want to add um, um, a date or anything like that. So we have those tags and everything. Um, I like that one, black, white, and we add that here. Put it on the front. Uh. Okay. The shadow doesn't do anything so maybe we maybe we turn it around no hmm do we need a shadow okay it's a lot of trying I always say it's also for me not easy every day to create a layout it's also for me to play around a lot and this is what the fun is um, I think not to put everything fast together that it's done the playing is that what's the fun I think for me um, we use all those we do that in the front creative every day and then we adhere the date from today it is May 7th 2021 and I like to use the chandel Chandler, it's from the Creative Cloud, a font. It's okay. I'm so silent. I'm sorry. <laughs> Light, um, medium, medium is better. Oh, this poor kitty, she's screaming. She's just since a week here and she, and now she jumps, <laughs> she wants to come in and she doesn't eat anything the last few days. We was um, with her yesterday at the, at the vet and um, he said she maybe she got some meds so I need to give her that the last few days or yesterday and today okay what do we need 
and the journaling. Um, Krista, I hope you you don't mind me if I need, if I use a word art. And if you are a subscriber to my newsletter, you c get um, where is it? This is not what I wanted. Quote motivational over here. I only need a little bit of inspiration and this is um it's not that it's our reaction to it. You can do hard things without being hard on yourself. This is I like that. Okay, it's only just um I'm not good with journaling because um, my life is too boring. <laughs> I don't have any kids. Um, so journaling is mostly nice when you when you have kids. Surround yourself with people whose vibes match yours. Okay. Um, twenty twenty two, and I think that's too big. Sixteen, but we stay with the twenty two. Uh, ah, that's better. Okay. This is it. I think I'm happy with that. I hope you like it. Um, I want to recolor her her um, lips, and for that I want to use those stamps. Let me just check that. Maybe, maybe use this one. And that, uh, that that's that that was a, a combination. This one of a German word and an English word. Just place it, whoops, wrong one. Uh, oh, okay. Hmm. We go to, um, to the styles here, color overlay, click and use here the red. But um, it looks a little bit more like a clown. Ah, sometimes turning around can also help. Okay. Hmm. What are we gonna do with the with the eyes? Um, we can add her some eyeshadow with this blue one that looks then cool. I love that. I love now what I really love now on this layout is that we have a combination of this modern face, this um, um, uh, line drawing. Then we have stamps and this artsy, grungy um, graffiti look. And then in the, on the background, this um, photo, which is a natural photo. And overlaying with stamps and those word arts and blending, it gets his own character now. I really like it. Really love it. I do two less layouts really I do okay so I think this is it and um, I really like it I hope you enjoy now this video and um, I look forward to see all of your uh, layouts until tomorrow Saturday
um, the instruction you can find at the forum. Where is it? Oh, no, I don't want to have that open. I'm too. In this, um, and we have here the instruction. You need to be done until Saturday, um, 4 p.m. EDT time. So this is um, what you need. Maybe we refresh the page and look if anyone already has something posted. Oh, -ho! Michelle has added already her layout. Look at it. And she used, oh gosh, I don't know which layout. Uh, which collection she has used here. Okay, so here we go. Um, here is this one with people whose vibes match yours. Okay, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, um, I hope you could learn something from it and um, you enjoyed it if you have any questions feel free to ask um, just write in the comments just uh, underneath this um, video and if you need um, infos whatever just send me um, in the messenger something or yeah in the comments um, enjoy your weekend and we're gonna see us sure in the next video bye